really private, but we'll sting if you get close. Huh? And they rule by planet Mars, they stay determined and don't go. go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. That's they appreciate the ones they love, they ain't what the fake shit. Uh-uh. They don't really like people switching up, uh-uh. and they can't be kinda controlling like bitch. Shut the fuck up. Shut Scorpios up. are leaders and they always think ahead. And they also open minded, so you gotta give them credit. Give them. If you date in the Scorpio and they like you, they will make you happy. They also like a meal, so in the kitchen, no, you can't be like Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip. And they do not disappoint, man. You just gotta tap. Hey, don't get me wrong. I will unfriend, unfollow, uncousin, unfamily, unco worker a draining soul real quick. Because in this season, my piece is that much more important. What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. All right, so last night on August 30th, it's the 31st, we had a full moon. Uh, this is a rare moon because we had two moons in one month, okay? And if you watch the Smurfs, they go in depth about this particular moon. This is the moon that Smurfs and dwarfs and stuff. If you have a mushroom circle okay so mushrooms grow in a circle and if it's completely completed you that is a portal between two different dimensions okay um but yeah so if you watch watch it the smurfs the smurfs talk about the blue moon that will be happening last night and tonight this is a great time to do rituals get you some bay leaves which i'll probably show you in the preview at the end or the end write down what you want you know say whatever saying you want into like a little pot or something and then so those ashes into a plant in your house or outdoors and allow, you know allow the universe to uh, allow your manifestations to come through okay so me and my daughter did our own rituals last night um actually her dad came you know and um put her to bed and then he left and he was able to jump in on the ritual as well who knows if you felt like it was crazy or stupid but we did do the ritual all together because ty wanted to anyway Let's talk about the six planets in retrograde right now, Scorpio. So a lot of y'all could be getting a little freaky, okay? <laughs> freaky, freaky, okay, or just masturbating either way. Um, this energy is coming in right now because of the planets moving backwards, okay? Some of you guys could be feeling like you don't want to get up and go to work. You don't want to do shit. You don't want to be around nobody. All of that has a lot to do with the planets moving backwards as well okay so i just want to tell you if you're in a financial bind like damn everything will fall and now i'm like what you know that is because of retrograde too um and the planets moving backwards so if you're in a financial bind if you have sleep patterns that are just bonkers you're like damn what the fuck is going on normally you was getting great eight hours of sleep now it's like four two it was broken up it is because of the retrograde now i do want to tell you guys people that are going to sleep in the middle of the day it's because your vibration has gotten to a certain level that during the day your energy is required in the astral plane to go and help others who are still having problems with being negative, being mean. Okay, it's kind of like you're doing a dual job. Like you, you here in the three D plane working, and then they gotta put you to sleep so that you could jump into your. Uh, I don't know why they want to say your fourth body, but your at your astral projection body, and you gotta go out and help other people heal and and do different things and show them numbers. So it's really cool. You know, you just got two jobs. You could be working like a Jamaican. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on for my Scorpios. What's good? How y'all doing? I hope everybody looking good, feeling good, and motherfucking smelling good. Okay. For my Scorpios. All right. So Scorpios, right out the gate. It says life lesson. So there's a life lesson that you have learned. Okay. You've overcome this life lesson. This lesson is being presented to you again. Okay. Let's see what the second card is. <clears throat> it says solitude. Okay. So there is a life lesson that is involved with social um, atmosphere. Okay. With solitude here in reverse, you need to take your ass outside. You need to go have a good time. You need to enjoy yourself during this time. Even though things may present itself like maybe you shouldn't, you should. Now, with life purpose, spirit is also telling you to chill, okay? This is a time for you to have fun. Some of y'all could be like, I ain't having no fun. I ain't got no money. I ain't fucking around with that, okay? But spirit is telling you, you don't need no money. You just need to go out. This is a lot of purple. So your intuition is going against you having fun. Your intuition is going against you going out and having a good time because of funds or some kind of lack thereof or lack of something. 
But spirit is telling you, do not isolate, socialize. Your life purpose is going to help you right when it needs to. But you have to be in a constant state of lifting a vibration, having a good time in order for those new blessings to come in. Some people don't understand. People think like, nah, I got to sit down and not do nothing. You know, clutch my booty as tight as fuck. You don't really need to do that. What you really need to do is follow your intuition. Go out and have fun. Be very lighthearted and kind, okay? You ain't got to be kind with your money. You can be kind with your spirit, okay, Scorpio? All right, so let's see what else is going on. All right, twelve, twelve. Spirit is just telling you to stay focused, okay? So some of you guys feel like if you go out and have a good time that you're a slacker. Spirit is telling you, no, stay focused, okay? You can stay focused in your mind. You can do little things to help you uh, feel like you're still connected to the divine and help you feel like, you know, you're still excelling in some kind of way. All right. Spirit is telling you that you're inspiring people, whether you know it or not, and you're very balanced. OK, so even though you feel like you're not somebody in the universe is about to be very charitable to you, stay focused. OK, you do inspire a lot of people, whether you know it a lot and you bring a lot of balance and consistency to a lot of different people unbeknownst to you. OK, even if you don't go somewhere every day, if you only like it's whoever I'm thinking about goes to a place every Tuesday or every Wednesday. You like, hey, how you doing? This could be a gas station that you stop at to play lottery. But you know, when you bring your energy in there, it's positive. A lot of people don't understand like showing up places, even though you don't feel like getting up. You know, you happy, you smiling, you you still giving out good energy, and people need it. It says your family loves you and can offer you the support you seek. Okay, so Scorpio, somebody could be coming to you for a handout, like, hey, can you help me with something? Okay, and the universe is guiding this person to come and ask you for some assistance. Okay, but two, 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 are you always giving this person stuff? Are you always like you got to be very careful with you know if you're giving out stuff make sure it's balanced you know you give out advice you give out love and it's not always money okay because whoever this is they need to find balance on their own all right whoever's on your mind scorpio let's see what they talking about all right whoever's on scorpio's mind okay um attention of others in reverse so you have somebody's undivided attention and you're giving somebody your undivided attention attention of others is in reverse so somebody is just really trying to be focused with you they're trying to be focused on you if you call they're trying to com communicate with you okay this person does miss you in some kind of way all right, bottom of the deck energy. I miss you. I miss the thing. I miss things were different. I mi I wish things were different, okay? So somebody from a distance really misses you. A hot air balloon could be very significant here, okay? But somebody just wants to give you their undivided attention. You know, they want you to know, like, whatever you need, they are going to make themselves willingly and available for you, okay, Scorpio? This could be you doing this, okay? But yeah, this is just undivided attention like you could be having your eyes on someone or you could just be focused just on them okay um also whoever this is they could be with their family or living with their family or you could be living with your family and your family is going to give you the support that you seek so just know that living with your family or living with your parents is a good idea if you are a scorpio like a lot of people like you know but if you don't have a stable relationship with a man or a woman you know then you could save your money and when you do have one you can get a hotel and chill with them there <laughs> Okay. All right. It says the timing is just not quite right. Wait. Okay. So Scorpio, don't try to force something or put somebody in a title that's not ready. They're not ready yet. They have to evolve a little bit. This could be you as well. Okay. So just don't be trying to say, oh, I want to just put all my eggs in one basket. Slow up. Hold up. Wait. Okay. So y'all need to hold up and wait a minute because it's not quite time for you to put that person in that situation. And there's not enough passion here. Somebody wants your forgiveness, Scorpio. Uh, forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So somebody's going to ask you for forgiveness on the slide. Okay. They don't want you to blow up their spot, but they do want your forgiveness here because they feel like they're being stuck or they're in some kind of spiritual purgatory jail or something. There's not enough passion here. Somebody's trying to stay focused. Somebody feels lack of inspiring, but they don't have enough passion in what they're doing to really have that gusto to work towards this thing every day. So somebody could be put in a place for financial gain, but it's not enough because, you know, it's, it's just not enough passion there. Things will unfold when they're meant to be, okay? Um, you also have stay positive about it. So somebody's trying to stay optimistic about their situation. Okay. Which is ba basically just putting on a fake face, you know, um, things happen sooner when you focus on your energy. Okay. So somebody's just 
not really focused on their life. They're focused on your life or you're focused on somebody else's life. And things will really pan out once you put that energy towards, you know, the shit that you got to do. Like, people don't understand. Like, if you sitting around thinking about what somebody doing, watching what somebody doing, ain't shit going on in your life. But if you sitting around... If you're not sitting around, but you focus on doing your cars, editing photos, doing reels, your life is moving along because you're putting product out so more energy can come in. You got closed projects so new projects can come in. It says, wow, look at that shit. It says create space for it for so it can happen sooner. Spirit is just telling you, knock out your goals. Knock out the things that you needed to do so more stuff can come in. Also, this is a time for you not to be cluttered. It's a time for you to make sure your dishes is clean, your clothes is washed, Okay. Something very significant is going to be happening this December, okay, and as well as November. Within a couple of weeks, Scorpios, y'all need to get ready for y'all birthday. Within a couple of weeks, you need to start saving money, okay? You also have let it happen organically in reverse Scorpio. Do not be forcing some shit, trying to make some shit happen unnaturally. Let it happen organically. I love you guys. See y'all in the next video. The royal family almost everyone in the royal family is like an 11 life path so they're obviously having c-sections to make sure these guys are all 11 oh, shit. Uh, Holy and shit. guess what i do the same thing because my first kid's an 11 too so i made sure he had a c-section on a certain day because i wanted to make sure that he was set up for life at least financially I'm not yeah. saying money is everything in life but if you're born on a certain birthday you can make sure that they'll have money in their life they the number of money so people who are born on the 8th the 17th the 26th they tend to do very very well financially now, there's even one number that's above the number of money, and that's the number of wealth. And guess who has that one? Elon Musk. 28 is the number of wealth. And Vladimir Putin is worth a lot more money than Elon Musk. He got married on the 28th, and his first child was born on the 28th. Come on, man.